306 and I would like to call the October 15th, 2024 Capital Planning Committee meeting to order. And uh, the first item of business is, uh, Linda, do you have any updates on anything? Has anyone, uh, any additions or changes or deletions since our last meeting? There haven't been any changes in the Capitol. Uh, well, I have put it together in form, which after we're done with the school, I'll show you what the capital article looks like with everything in it. You'll need to vote first, of course, but, um, and I can pull up the school. I can share uh, what we have on the school's requests over the next 10 years. And I okay. think school is the last one. I think we'll then be able to, you'll then be able to vote. So let me get a share screen on, on the school. So Annie, as soon as that comes up, you're on. Fantastic. Did it come up? Oh. No, not yet. Share. Hmm. It's just technical difficulty day, Paul. Sure is. Okay, there we go. With this page here. Okay, Paul, oh, did you want me to speak to all the school articles? <laughs> Let's go right oh. down in, in order as they're presented on the sheet. Sure. Sure. Um so the grand... hold, hold on. And just a, can you blow that? Linda went right off now. Oh, it went off. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, it's, it's just right. a side. Just a sidebar is on there on the left side. There right, you go. Can, could you blow that up a little bit by any chance? Or I think I can. There we go. Nice. Okay. How's um, that? It yeah, Perfect. this is great Perfect. for me. And Chris, Perfect. I'm also going to ask you to weigh in because what one of the things that I thought was that we were focused on the IT upgrades, the $65,000, which first of all, thank you so much to Linda and to Mike Mason for taking into consideration some of the things that we were looking to do immediately. Um, and some of the other debt exclusion items, if I'm not mistaken, um, Chris, we were looking to potentially in terms of FY or in terms of this special town meeting um, that we were looking to revisit some of these things and prioritize them differently. Or am I mistaken there, Chris? Uh, that's correct. Yeah, we were only looking at the IT for the fall special town meeting. Correct. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because one of the things that we had talked about is that it might make sense for us to cluster items together that may require debt exclusion at some point, but to really focus on items that had to do with health and safety and well-being. And Chris D. and Chris Pip, who's the liaison to the school committee, Chris Pipchinski, who's here, um, for the capital committee, the three of us wanted to look at the entire plan and really cluster safety and security items together, which may uh, make a difference in terms of what we would be requesting and when. And our focus right now was simply the IT for $65,000. Um, yes. Linda, does that, I don't mean to kind of put you back on your heels, does that sound about right? And does that really kind of, Mess up all your beautiful plans yes. if we're focused. No. Okay, so no, usually, usually that... people are happy when I'm like, oh, forget it, we don't need 500000 <laughs> I'm still focusing <laughs> on what screens where. But yes, I, I have you down for, we're going to borrow 65000 within the levy for the IT upgrades um, for the school. And we had over a half, uh, about over $500,000 worth of, of items that we were putting off until spring 
when we could then do that as a debt exclusion. But what made up that 500,000, you were going to be looking at it to, to be a little bit more of a cohesive. Yeah. Oh, we are on the same page. Linda, I have to tell you guys, Linda and Mike work so hard and Linda is a genius at this stuff. And I'm like, oh my goodness, if I'm messing up Linda's groove right now, I'm not going to be happy with myself. But yeah, <laughs> and really oh. it's so the town sees that we're, we're organizing these investments, one that we're prioritizing safety and security first, and we want to kind of cluster those together under a more general construction article, which we think it'll be easier for the town to A, understand and B, get behind rather than things that feel kind of like these disparate construction fixes that folks are like, I don't get it. Why are we spending that money? So good news for you all, $65,000. We can tell you exactly what that is. And right. that is $17,000 for network switch upgrades. So really, really necessary. $18,000 for 40 Chromebooks. Um, and then another $30,000 for 40, 40 Chromebooks that are plus Chromebooks. So these are staff Chromebooks. So the 18,000 for 40 Chromebooks would be to replace student Chromebooks, and then an additional $30,000 to replace staff Chromebooks for a grand total of $65,000. And then, do I understand it correctly, Annie, that what you're, what is on this list as the five hundred thousand dollars is not necessarily what you're going to be coming up with in the spring. No. no. Okay. Okay. Yes. So we'll because take some of these things that are spread over the years and put them, group them a little differently. Yeah, in places, right? So we want to order. We want to um, really make sure that we're ordering things in terms of, as I said, security and safety and organizing construction a little bit differently. And we also want to look at where we potentially could be at with geothermal upgrades. So it doesn't, some things it doesn't make sense to do. It makes more sense to coordinate things or things we have over the next couple of years that may or may not happen depending on what direction the geothermal is. So, um, yeah. Does that make sense to the committee? And certainly yeah. Chris, so, Chris or I can take any questions. So some of these may be coming back in the spring, if I'm understanding you correctly, and others will be on in future years? Correct. They, All right. We could potentially order them differently. Um, correct. Uh, yeah. We, we do, um, we try and keep all the, we focus the debt exclusions for the spring so that the voting on the debt exclusion is, uh, coincides with our town elections. Right. Right. We, we try to do that. You know, that's something we, we adopted a few years ago, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. And it seems to work very well, actually. It does. And if people can focus, the departments can focus on their debt exclusions for coming that time of year, it won't interfere with the rest of the capital plan, which are coming out of uh, many of them out of present cash sources. It's, this is a, mm -hmm. it, it comes out of additional taxation. Great. Well, for the immediate, then that's all we're dealing with is the IT upgrades and replacements, right. if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Right. All right. So I'd ask if anyone, any other committee members have any questions for Dr. McKenzie or for Chris regarding this? No, it makes, makes sense to me. Do we need a motion? If, if there's nobody else. Well, this was the last uh, departmental presentation, and since it's completed, in my opinion, it's done. So maybe we can move on to starting to uh, vote on all the recommendations that we've been discussing over the last uh, two meetings and today. So to answer your question, Paul, yeah, I think we will need one. But uh, why don't we? Well, since we're dealing with the school department now, why don't we take that one first? Uh, let me see if I can get that up on this, the the uh, full set up on the screen. And Linda, do you have a sheet with all the latest, you know, a, a departmental requests by department that we could refer to on um, the screen? I'll show you what I do have. There's a couple of different planning. Would be something like this one, okay. or um, 
Yeah, that and that goes over multi multiple years. Yes. Um, but we were, I think, going to try and let's see. Focus on this year, obviously. Right. Suppose I share that one. Is that? If you can blow that up, I think. All that right. Might let me get ready. See if I can wow. work on that one. Okay, it's not by department, but um, can you see it? Is that good enough? I, I still don't understand why I can never see what you're seeing, but um, I see it on my computer, but I don't see how you're seeing it. Um, this one is all of FY25 by, by funding category, not by um, department, Paul. But what I did do is I specifically highlighted in green the ones that you're voting on that would be at town meeting. So the second, uh, we're not doing anything for debt exclusion at this town meeting. For voting within the levy, we're doing the ambulance, the public safety building renovations, the IT mm -hmm. upgrades for the school, right. the town hall HVAC, and um, the DPW uh, excavator is half levy and half from water. Now, is that one, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but that particular one, is that 310 mm -hmm. the entire amount? Or is it? Yes, it is. So it's 155 in each direction. Okay. So when you add the 155 to the 280 we're borrowing, we're at $435,000 for borrowing within the levy. Fine. Then we have for borrowing from uh, to be paid from water, we just have the 155000 for the excavator. We have, uh, and the others are all cash items. We have free cash, the computer service, for first server for dispatch, which if they get the grant, some or all of that may not be needed. We've got 50,000 for DPW's MS4. We have 30,000 for the uh, sewer transducers. And the others are all for water, the Matt Warner match for that grant, uh, the, the uh, uh, down at water, the cabinets, countertops, and plumbing issues, the Callahan well, re, re, uh, cra the cracking being, cracking. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, and the water pumps being replaced, and the backwash tank, a design for the backwash tank, and we'll probably see that one come out back after a, after a design, probably see that full project coming through um, at a later date for um, for a um, <laughs> debt exclusion. I told Paul I got my shots this morning too. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes a little, ah, uh, <laughs> like what am I saying here? Okay. You're doing so well. You're doing if you well. want to see it in this format, here it is. If you'd like to see the actual article where I've set them out, I can switch over to that. Um, so you tell me the layout if, that you want. If you have it in the article form, it's all in the aggregate. And all the others are the, the items that we're not looking at this year are not included in that. Then. Correct. It will it will look simpler. So let me see if I can. And what do you get for a grand total? For the capital articles, the the, the total value of all the capital articles that are being voted in is nine hundred and twenty one thousand five hundred. None of that involves borrowing. No, no, it does. So here we go. Now, do you have, can you Within, see? I, I meant, nothing involves borrowing on a debt exclusion. Correct. All right. Correct. So can you see my article four? Yes. Yes, okay. I can. All right. So 4.1 is where we're showing 921,500 total for the projects and the amounts. Um, so that's the value of the project, say for the ambulance, even though we're borrowing it within the, we're borrowing it, we're, we're counting it at 75,000. We're not just counting it at what we're spending in a particular year on the debt on that. So we're, we're getting, we're acquiring $921,500 worth of, of new items with this article. So here you can see it by, de by department. Total appropriations. Yeah, the yeah. ambulance, public safety, school, 
and uh, the HVAC are borrowing within the levy. Then we have the two free cash items. Then we have the excavator, which is half within the levy and half borrowing, uh, half paid from water. And um, then the others are all from water reserves or sewer reserves. Most are from water reserves. And fortunately, that is our larger account. This is uh, very manageable within what we have available in water reserves. And sewer reserves, we have less available to us, but it's only a $30,000 item. And, and we think that we can get that through. Um, I do want to say we still don't have our certified cash amounts from the state, but um, we have pretty good idea that, that we're going to be able to manage this amount. So we should have those in soon. So you that like amounts that you submitted, you know, preliminary amounts. We do. Um, the yeah. uh, free cash, uh, we're expecting to be about $1.1 million. All right. And how about water and sewer? Uh, water and sewer. I think we were water. We were sewer. I think we were more like 150,000 and water. Actually, I'm not recalling. I think it was at least 900,000, eight or 900,000 or, or more. I'm not sure. I didn't write that one. I don't have that one right handy, but I've been that, tracking that, free cash that, one every day. That's a rough uh, estimate though. You, yeah. You're in the ballpark on that. One. Right. Okay. Uh, let me ask uh, my fellow committee members if anyone has any uh, comments or strong objections to any of the articles that are, or any of the items that are proposed within this Article 4. I'm good. You're good. Bill, Chris, Fine. Christine? Fine. Well, would. Uh, in the interest of efficiency, then maybe we could just do one vote for the entire amount. Uh, article four. Yes. Uh, does anyone need... have a problem with that? No. Do we need? No. Can we do it to the aggregate amount, or do you need us to go line? You know, aggregate amount and go down. Why don't we do both, Paul? You know, give okay. the aggregate amount. If someone okay. wants to make a motion, all right, for well, the aggregate, and then give each individual amount, so we have it in. Okay. You know, we have a record. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Yeah, okay. thank you. I'll, I'll make a motion to um, uh, uh, support Article 4, capital articles, for a total of $921,500 to be borrowed within the levy, a combination of within the levy and free cash, and some from reserves, which will be detailed as, as follows. Uh, ambulance for a second ambulance for $75,000 borrowed within the levy. Public safety, a building renovation, part one, $75,000 borrowed from within the levy. School department, IT upgrades for $65,000 borrowed within the levy. DPW buildings and grounds uh, department, it's a capital is HVAC, HVAC for town hall, $65,000, which we borrowed within the levy. Dispatch computer servers for $27,500 uh, out of free cash. DPW Highway for MS4 uh, Stormwater Management, $50,000, which will be coming out of free cash. DPW Water and Excavator for $310,000 in total, $155,000 coming from borrowing within the levy, and $155,000 borrowed from the water reserves. Uh, DPW Water Backwash Tank Redesign for $45,000 uh, from the water reserves. DPW water plumbing updated cabinets and countertops for $36,000 coming from water reserves. Uh, DPW water Callahan well building repair and replacement due to, or replacement due to cracking $63,000 from water reserves. DPW water water pump replacements for $60,000. I think there's two of them. Uh, water reserves. DPW water Mount War Warner match grant for $20,000 out of water reserve and DPW sewer replace the transducers for $30,000 out of sewer reserves. Okay. Great job there, Paul. A, a motion, a motion has been made. And is there a second? Second. Okay. Christine has second the motion. Any further discussion before we take a vote? Hearing none, uh, since we're on Zoom, this will be a roll call vote. And I will start with uh, Christine Pipchinski. Aye. Okay, Paul Benjamin. Aye. Bill Bannock. Aye. 
and Paul McCretzky, aye. So the motion passes unanimously. Now, Paul, so, we, there is a 4.2, and I think that we probably should, we, we should get the, um, the vote of the Capital Planning Committee on this one, too. Um, we had a few years back, I guess it was May of 22, we had uh, an attempt at fixing the water tank issue mm -hmm. by uh, painting and repairing the Mount, uh, Mount Holyoke and Warner wells, uh, tanks, water tanks. I remember. Yep. But now we're going to replace those water tanks. Right. So they would like to redirect that 310000 from the prior article into getting started on uh, uh, on uh, designing the two new water uh, storage tanks that were approved. Um, so these funds that have already been appropriated at a prior yes. meeting will be redirected towards yeah, the towards replacement. The okay. Yes, so they can get going on that. All right, yeah, I, I agree with you. I see no problem with that. And uh, well, why don't we open it up? Is there any discussion? first of all, about this particular article. Okay, hearing none, I would uh, entertain a motion to redirect the funds that we approved at the May 5th, 2022 town meeting towards the water tank replacements. Right, I'll make a motion to approve the redirection 4.2 uh, capital re redirection of water tank funds and this is to amend Article 9A2 of the May 5th, 2022 Annual Town Meeting, which authorized the town to borrow $310,000 to paint the Mount Holyoke Warner tanks by, de by directing such funds for the purpose of designing and constructing two new water storage tanks to begin uh, the project approved by Article 18 at the May 2nd, 2024 Annual Meeting. Thank you, Paul. A motion has been made. And is there a second? Second. Thank you, Chris. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I will call for a roll call vote. We'll start with Christine Pipchinski. Aye. Okay. Paul Benjamin. Aye. Bill Bannock. Aye. And Paul McCretzky. Aye. So the motion passes unanimously. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other business that we have, Linda? I can't think of anything offhand. Well, I, I just have a couple things and uh, Mike Mason will probably want to chime in too that is sort of been, do we want to continue um, to do this as a single uh, capital budget article? This is This will be now the third year where we have presented these, that the Capital Committee has reviewed it, we have stayed within the budget for borrowing within the levy, stayed within the means of what can be spent from water and sewer reserves and borrowed from water. Um, this is a, in my opinion, I see this as something that has a, a scaled down and, a, and approved version of, of the total number of requests. So it's been carefully sort of considered and put together as a uh, as the year's capital budget of less than a million dollars. Um, so what we have heard is some saying they should, we should vote on them all separately or we should put them in the categories of borrowing within the levy or water reserves or these different categories, um, which would be different than what we've been doing the last two years, but in a return to the way it was before. And as I said, I, I like seeing this as a single uh, plan budget that came comes from the capital planning committee but i wondered if you all had had heard different things or had any opinions on on this how you want to do it well i, I think personally i really appreciate this particular type of presentation it has everything in a nutshell and you can also you see it by department which is nice but also within each department you can see the uh, specific request and it's it's all there in one sheet and also, as far as the efficiency of the voting process and approval process, it seems to work very well, too. And I don't know what else, if my fellow committee members have any comments. I, I agree with that. Less is just, more. Just so the Capital Committee is aware, what my plan 
um, at town meeting was to kind of explain all of that so that the cat, unless the capital, anybody from the committee wants to speak to it. I think what I'd like to do is, you know, lay it out for them that a whole lot of work um, goes into this from, you know, Linda's standpoint, from folks here at town hall and from the capital committee, and that the list that's put in front of them are not um, just willy nilly slapped up there. Um, there's a lot of things that, you know, we meet with department heads and we mm -hmm. remove, uh, remove things and we move them down the line uh, and we, we make affordability decisions uh, before we put it in front of them. And then if someone really truly does care enough to talk about a specific item on here, there's still the right, you know, at town meeting to remove things or request a, an adjustment to the article. Um, but I just feel like this whole um, having everything uh, in a single article with the funding source and the amount and the department, all the things that you both just mentioned um, is just definitely the best way to do it. And we can, you know, like I said, I can try to explain that to folks and, and, if, and their right is still there to attack a certain portion of it if they'd like to. Exactly. Well, well put chief. And uh, it's, I think it's a benefit for the uh, members of the town meeting too to see it presented in this form too. It, it actually makes it clear. And as Paul mentioned, you know, sometimes less is more. And the way this is presented, I think it it, it exemplifies that. Great. Uh, one thing I would like to bring up while we got everybody here is maybe, you know, once the town meeting is done, and now that we have a five-year plan, if we could just get together sometime, the capital committee and and Linda and Mike sometime to uh, just to go over what we have looking at us down the pike for the next uh, four or five years. And, uh, you know, just to have a discussion, not that we'd be voting on anything, but just so we get a heads up and advance uh, information that we could work with. And I don't know if that makes any sense to everybody. Yes, definitely. I think so, definitely. Okay, so maybe Linda, I'll be in touch with you sometime after the town meeting and we can okay. set something up for some time in the future. And uh, Bill and Christine, are you okay with that too? And Paul? Yes. yes. Good, all right. Well. I just want to thank everybody for all their work and all, all the hard work they put into this, especially you, Linda, and and Mike. I know you're correct, Mike. There's a lot that goes into this. It's not just one sheet of paper out of town meeting that they're looking at. There's just so much. And all the meetings that and hearings that we had with all the various department heads, too. And so we appreciated all that, that they contributed to this entire process. And uh, having said that, any is there any other business anyone wants to bring up at this point? I just want to say thank you. I have a teacher coming in for a meeting, so I'm going to hop off. Thanks okay. so much, everybody. Appreciate thank, it. Thank you thank all you, for Annie. your time. Capital Committee, Linda and Mike. Linda, I know we are the difficult child in the school department. So thank you always for helping us. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you. Okay. Uh, to adjourn. Is there, a motion to adjourn has been made. Is there a second? Second. Second. Okay, we'll take a roll call vote. Christine Pipchinski. Aye. Okay, Paul Benjamin. Aye. And Bill Bannock. Aye. And Paul McCretzky. Aye.